First thing in the morning, come walking down there. You don't mind if I go back there and give me a couple of squirrels for breakfast? <laughs> he ain't here? Nah, he's got a white truck. How much do you think that house cost him to build? So he owns a bunch of the land. How much land does he own? His name's Snake? That's what he sold us to call him. Tell me about Snake. He looks like a usual guy you'd see come walking out of the Vietnam War. So nice guy. Nice guy. Battle ready. Battle ready. Shooting squirrels, that's what he eats for dinner? So Snake's our neighbor. He said the other guy over here has got some stuff to sell too. Interesting thing real quick, just to let you know, this name is John Bond of this road. And how you know who started this road is you just look at the sign and that'll tell you who was the first settler. Now these might be interesting because this is the easily flippable one they got for sale signs here. Well, let's call them right now. You got two structures and a lot of acreage. Yeah, so you got an A-frame house and then you got a cabin. I think it was a four acre chunk. I'm just gonna show my technique for how I buy houses if I can't get a hold of them because most people aren't gonna answer a Vegas phone number anyways. Would you? Nope. Yeah, we might wanna do that. Let's call from your phone. This is a little tip I got for people. If you're looking to get your voice heard, you just do this. Hi, my name is Troy Kearns. I am interested in buying your property on John Bond Road. I own the property next door and I see your for sale sign out there. If you would give me a call back at... My name is Troy Kearns. All right, let's try him on your phone. Yes, sir. Calling about the property you have up here on John Bond Road. Yeah, I bought the property next door, doing some work on it. I saw your house out there. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, so what property did you buy? I bought the, the one on the left side, the opposite side of the road as you. Is it across the road from my place? Yes, it's across the road, sir. Did you buy all the land with the house? Yeah, I bought all the land too. Okay. Uh, what did they have, 18 acres there? I think it was like 12 or something. I don't remember exactly. We got, we're got we waiting on a survey back, so I know. We got two for sure, and it's and based on the survey, we think we've got a little bit more. More than two acres? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're gonna find out. You know, it's not, it's not detrimental that we have the 18 acres or not. We just wanted to make sure we, we got what we got, you know what I mean? Have you done bought it? Done yeah, we already or... bought it. We're already working on it right now. We're fixing it right now. If you ever, oh, if you, okay. if you ever want to come by and say hi, please do. How many acres is on your property, sir? I got 10 acres. And it comes with the two structures? Yes, sir. It comes with that A-frame house, which is a nice two-bedroom, kitchen, dining room, living room, bathroom, front porch, back porch. How's the condition inside that house? Yeah. Beautiful, it's all been upgraded. What this is, is wood, it's been clear coated. It's all natural wood, and it's been cleared. Oh, it's pretty. The floor, the, the ceilings, everything inside. Most of that stuff was uh, tall and grooved right there on the property. Oh, you made it right there on the three, property? Three saw mills around here cut that lumber up. How long have you owned the property, sir? I bought it in 05. Oh, five. What did you pay I, for it? I won't take less than 125. Oh, 125,000 for the whole shooting match? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I either get that or I won't sell it. Ain't no lane in that, no one. Now, did you have the property appraised? Did I have it appraised? No, did, sir. I just bought it. When I bought it, I bought it because I wanted it. That whole 10 acres. Land. No, it's all beautiful land, it's good, high and dry. High and dry, I like that. You can't build that house for 125000 That outside house probably cost you 40000 Sound like you know your stuff. If I bought you an offer for less than 125000 would it even bother be worth presenting it to you? I just turned down 115000 Oh, you did turn down 150. Why'd you turn it down? 115,000. I'm not gonna take less than 125 for it. If I don't sell it for 125, that's basically worth more than that, man. Would you carry the paper? Would you Would you be the bank for me? No. So even if I gave you like ten thousand dollars down? No. Sir. no sir. Oh, okay. So it's just 125, no, take it or leave it. I ain't got to sell. You know. Yeah, I I I got you. If you change your mind on the price. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to change my mind on the price, though. All right, well, good. Well, if something happens and you want to call me back, even if you don't change your mind, but if you change your mind yeah. about financing it, let me know. Okay, I'm not going to finance it. All right, so I, I guess I'm don't, I guess call me back if you want to talk sometime then. Okay, I'll make you want to come up there sometime, yeah. All right, well, if you want to come by and take a look at what we're doing, please stop yeah. on by, okay? Okay. I, I'll and ju and just to just way. to let you know, sir, on the property that we bought, just to kind of give you a barometer of where, where we're at on the property, we paid thirty five thousand for our property with, like I said, about three acres with a house. Yeah, you got. I think you got two acres is what you got. So we got two acres with a house for thirty five grand. Man, that's the trailer you got. That ain't no house. That's a mobile home, man. Nope. 
It's a house. Oh, wait, 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 we ain't talking about the same place. Just come take a look right, at it. We'll, we'll show it to you. If you ever want to split off a couple of acres and sell the houses with a couple of acres, let us know. And we'd be giving you, we'd give you a lot more than 35. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to send it all or not. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking okay. the call. I appreciate it. Stop on okay. by anytime, okay? Okay. All right, y'all. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Uh, Got her. Uh oh, you like you that? Did change it about two to three sentences in. You got almost as deep southern as your Seattle, Las Vegas ass can what? get. Right. So, <laughs> well, it's called it's called mirroring in sales. That's called mirroring. And so, what you want to do is, if I started talking like a Yankee, he's probably less likely to want to talk with me. Would you agree, Brian? He doesn't even want to take your Yankee number. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's called mirroring in sales, whether I'm talking to somebody who speaks Spanish, whether I'm talking to someone who has an accent, I'm gonna try to make them feel welcome by mirroring how they speak. So for me to pick up a little bit of twang, I've been hanging around with Brian for about 11 years. You know, we just start talking y'all, y'all yonder. We had a couple yonders, a couple y'alls. Going back over there. Going back over there. What else we need to say? Oh, that's as good as you need to get. Get yonder. Yeah, go go on, get over there, sir. You use sir a lot. You want to? You sir. gotta use sir, like ma oh, ma'am, yes sir, no sir again, and then sir again after yes sir, no sir, yes sir. When I first came to Mississippi, I met some dude. His name was Tracy Harvey, and I met him in the middle of like this nowheresville. He called us foreigners, but really, when you're not from Mississippi, what are you considered? You're an outsider for sure. You're an outsider, you're a foreigner. So by mirroring, I am no longer an outsider or a foreigner. I am a local. And people would rather deal with people who are local versus deal with some dude from Las Vegas that's calling. I mean, as you can tell, he didn't take my phone call the first time. He stuck to his number. I'll tell you what, Southern people, they're gonna stick to their number. If he told you, if he repeated it eight times, 125,000, take it or leave it. When I said 120, he really corrected me right back. No, 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 it's 125,000. I went every which way you could go with a sales flight. Will you carry it? Will you do this? Will you do that? Will you do this? He's not open to it. So all you can say is, hey, next time you wanna have a conversation, because he doesn't wanna show that he's weak on his negotiation at all. So he's just gonna stay firm. So me saying, hey, just give me a call, stop on by is the same thing as saying, hey, if you're flexible, come say hello. Because he already told me he wasn't flexible, so by me questioning it, I'm questioning his authority. And so I'm not gonna question his authority, I'm just gonna say, you know what, I get it, you should get what you wanna get for it, and if you don't, give us a call, and we'll talk about something else. Usually if you can find common ground with someone, you're gonna be able to work a deal. Because they're gonna look besides their number and they're gonna wanna make it work for you. Now, if he sees us up there fixing that house and we say, hey, we're interested in buying this house now, look at what we did over here, look what we can do over here. But how much money do you need to make? He never told us his number because he didn't want to, because he knows he probably paid like $15,000 for it or something like that. Or he probably paid 25,000, I bet you, because he's probably trying to make 100,000 bucks. Well, he said he built the house as a sell. Did he? Yeah. He said he bought it in 2005. Yeah, and he brought three sawmills there to build the houses out of. No, he said that it was built by three sawmills. He bought it. They oh, he did? It. Okay. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. It's just me doing a normal course of business. This is how I would contact somebody when I got another property that I'm looking to flip and you see one for sale. Just pick them up on the phone, call them right then and there. Don't write it down. Don't put it on your to-do list. Just get started calling people. Get started investing. I hope you learned something from it. Peace.